Welcome back, Wolfpack, Verlus here, and this is how to use Cloyster. Looking at Cloyster stats, this is probably like the craziest stat discrepancies I've ever seen. That the defense is one of the highest in the game, but then special defense is also one of the lowest. It's, it has a crazy duality, but what else would you expect with a Pokemon that's made from a shell? But if you look at its hit points, the hit points are really low too, so it does take away its overall tankiness. Then it also has a decent amount of attack and special attack, while having a lower end on the speed. So it just, it has all colors of the rainbow on this setup but not really. If we look at its typing, we have Water Ice, again. So Water Ice, you know, an interesting typing, not really too defensive though, it only really resists itself, and with the Fighting Rock weaknesses, you're going to be weak against your strongest stat, because Fighting Rock generally are mostly physical, and then you have Blast and Re Electric, but whenever you get hit by a special attack, it's pretty much nights out for Cloyster. So we have to take all of this into consideration when hopping into Pokemon Showdown to come up with a strategy, and pretty much the thing that people run the most is Focus Ash Shell Smash. You want to kind of guarantee getting that Shell Smash off, you want to make sure that you just can set up, and then you're going to be one of the fastest things in the, on the field, and you're going to be one of the hardest hitting Pokemon in the game, just one turn set up like that. Shell Smash, very strong move, and it has many uses that, you know, can work. Some Pokemon make better use of it than others, and we're looking at Cloyster for this one. So what I was thinking is Icicle Spear. That's kind of the go-to right here. Icicle Spear is going to have Stab, and it's going to hit five times. It says hits two to five times, but with the ability Skill Link, it hits always the maximum number of times. So you're going to be hitting 25 times five with Stab, 125 base power with Stab, and if we look at its attack, that's going to be 320 attack at level 50, over 600 attack at level 100. And then when we look at the speed, even though it has a really low speed without any investment, we're doubling that, so that's putting us over 240 speed at level 50, and over 400 speed, you know, 400, over 450, getting close to 480 speed at level 100. That's a lot of damage right there. So what I was also thinking is going with that naughty nature, you do run the risk of being physically walled with Icicle Spear and Rock Blast, and you can just kind of use your Water Stab to get a good hit off of Surf or Hydro Pump. I just personally do not like the moves that have lower than 90% accuracy, so I can see Surf being a strong option, and it's just a really good move, but with Rock Blast as well, you know, it's going to hit multiple times, and you're going to have an incredible amount of coverage. There are also a couple other ways to run Cloyster that, you know, you can make it a pretty reliable rapid spin Pokemon that can set up t spikes and toxic spikes. Essentially, if your opponent's trying to set up, you can do it as well, and it can really kind of create some good advantage for you. As long as you don't get hit by anything super effective or anything special, even though that's kind of like a crazy list, sometimes you can just encounter those things, and you have a very safe setup. I was thinking Citrus Berry for the burst health, and when you look at it, go with the Infish Nature, and then put the rest in the Special Defense and Hit Points, and you'll still have some really good tanky tankiness overall that gets you like the setup that you would like to have. On top of that, you can also run a Shell Smash King's Rock. Now, this is a bit risky, because you, you do run the risk of like getting just one hit KO'd as you're trying to make yourself vulnerable for S Shell Smash, but if it goes off, King's Rock is awesome with Skill Link that it's a 10% chance to flinch on each hit, so you're hitting 5 times, 50% chance to flinch your opponent while doing absurd amounts of damage from the Rock Blast, from the Icicle Spear, from the Hydro Pump. Also, uh, ignore this, I didn't want the adamant, uh, it's Naughty Nature, again, because you are running that one special attack, and you're kind of really frail overall, so if you can find a good opportunity, like you can predict your opponent's switching or setting up, that's when you can get the Cloyster to really work wonders. So, King's Rocks is, go is going to be insane as well. It, you're just losing out on that Focus Ash, but King's Rock is a little better because with Focus Ash, that's get, that gets broken if your opponent has any entry hazards, or if if they do have priority to a degree. So I mean, so all you have to do, really do is when you're cloister is worry about the priority and any kind of Stealth Rock or Spike setup that they have. But if you can get around that or set up cloister before they set that up, you're looking at a lot of strength. All right, and one more set for cloister on this one. I was thinking Ultimate Stat Tank. So, this one, I'm kind of hitting the easy button, but not really. It's still going to be Baton Pass, and if you think about it, Espeon, reliable Baton Pass Pokemon, and it can get a lot of Calm Minds in. So the idea is, you use Espeon, set up some Calm Mind, you Baton Pass that in Cloyster, now you have an incredibly high amount of natural defense. You're getting a lot of special defense, and a bit of special attack to make it work on your side, so that still makes you just a good setup Pokemon that can kind of burn your opponent down. Depending on how many, um... Calm Minds you're planning on getting, you can run this set a different, couple different ways. I was thinking Chesto Resto because you're looking at having over 400 in both defense and special defense if it goes right. Even with the 300 hit points being a bit low, you can make it work and you can get a lot of rest off. On top of that, this gives you an ample opportunity to set up three spikes, a lot of damage with Ice Beam and Brine, and why I was thinking Brine is because this move doesn't really get a lot of publicity, but I think it's a perfect move for this situation. That if you only get two boosts in the special attack, 
You don't have a crazy high amount of special attack, but you might be able to get your opponent down to half with one hit. With that next one, Brian is just going to do extra damage and take them out. That's also another good combo with spikes. That with spikes, you know, they're already taking a good chunk of their health, and they're just easier to bring below half, which means Brian's going to do a lot of extra damage. Ice Beam for coverage, and if you don't want to set up spikes, you can also still run Toxic. And now you can Toxic stall while doing a little extra chip damage with the Brian and Ice Beam, and still resting off very, very comfortably. So you can st also play around with the stats a bit if you want to. Uh, let's also make this level 50 so we can get some other number ideas coming in. So with this, you know, you can drop it down and get the most out of that little extra defense since your special defense is being boosted so high. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you use Cloister.